In early October, KC photographer Kevin Mahan and I traveled to Armenia with a 50-member medical mission from Fresno. Armenia is a country that has endured a lot. A 1915 genocide that claimed one and a half million lives, 75 years of Soviet rule, and widespread poverty. It was inspiring to see so much help and love shared from our community. This is the moment the medical mission team from Fresno has been waiting for. Gloves. Gloves with us. We'll use it. Unpacking a 60-foot shipping crate full of medical supplies from Fresno to Armenia. This crate sent last year containing surgical tables, gloves, a wheelchair, and more. A custom snag left it sitting in storage unopened until now. We check everything if it's not well explained. No. Honorary Consul of the Republic of Armenia in Fresno, Berj Apkarian, has led this mission of mercy for five years, bringing doctors and supplies to people in need. Our main uh, uh, focal point is to reach out and provide instruments, supplies, medications, whatever that might be the case. For areas they really, really need them and they don't have the means to have them. Nearly a third of Armenia's three million people live in poverty. No health insurance, little government provided support. So when a team of 50 doctors and specialists arrives offering supplies, medicine, and free care, they line up at clinics, at hospitals, even the hotel lobby. And what is his name? Aro, Ararat. Ararat. Okay. Aro, yeah, like the mountain. Doctor of Internal Medicine Ali Fayyad of Fresno met with patients in Yerevan's Hyatt Place Hotel before breakfast, checking breathing, blood pressure, whether their prescriptions are adequate. So he's been taking the blood pressure medication for how long now? Dr. Fayyad says chronic conditions like high blood pressure or diabetes are not maintained here. Patients can't afford a doctor. Doctor's visit or the medicine. It's a very humbling experience because we, in, like in the U.S., we have a lot of like you know the the most advanced medications and modalities of treatment and so on. So when you come here, people they don't have a lot of these things. Again, get his blood pressure under very well control. He says he's happy to help. They really, really appreciate everything that we do, and that just makes us feel like fantastic at the end of every long day we, we spend here. A long day meeting patients, sorting supplies, and providing free care. A mission of giving that offers plenty in return. So everything in this crate is going to more of the rural areas? Everything is going to the rural areas, yes. And it was all dispersed throughout Armenia and the neighboring Artsakh. I'll have another report from my trip to Armenia this Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. All of the stories will be posted after they air on the Armenia page on our website, yourcentralvalley.com.